go, I just thought this story was great because CNN makes the exact point. They're trying to say how bad they are, yet they make the point of how popular they are, which makes them completely legal. Right. I mean, are we all bad? I'm an AR-15 owner. Am I an inherently uh, morally, am I living in a moral vacuum? Am I suffering some, from some lack of, lack of ethical direction on this? I mean, I, I don't get the character indictments of, you know, millions of Americans who own this particular firearm, this rifle. It's a pretty good one, uh, by the way. And what I also don't get is their very strategic use, as they always use in the far left media, uh, of the term assault weapon. You know, I, I remember learning in a uh, in, in, in college, when I was uh, doing some studies on some uh, equivalent class stuff, that it's very difficult to have a category if the category has no distinctions. So did you ever wonder, like, if you have an assault weapon, well, what's a non-assault weapon? I mean, I don't understand. Like, and if you are going to define something as an assault weapon, what are the defining characteristics that make it so? What, it's black? I mean, I have a slingshot that's black. Well, I mean, I don't understand it. It's by, it looks scary. I got a lot of things that look scary. I saw a, a, a Deadpool statue in the mall, mall yesterday down in the Treasure Coast. That was pretty scary. Really that was scary. weapon. I mean, it, it just, the basic logic goes out the window when you deal with liberals. And Grant, it's because their emotions, they use their emotions to debate self-protection, firearm rights. They don't use reason. It went out the window a long time ago. Well, they